Into the news headline bulletin now, the National Institute for Communicable Diseases has recorded 6,381 new coronavirus infections in the country in the last 24-hour reporting cycle. Now, this takes the total number of cases to over 3,038,000. The increase represents a 26.4% positivity rate. Nine people have succumbed to COVID-19-related complications, putting the national death toll at 89,975. Meanwhile, Health Minister Joe Butler has urged people to vaccinate against COVID-19, saying that the pandemic should not further undermine gains government has made in the fight against HIV AIDS. Chairperson of the South African National AIDS Council, Deputy President David Mabuza, has called for collaborative platforms for intra-Africa scientific development. He was addressing the opening ceremony of the International Conference on AIDS and STIs in Africa in Durban yesterday, referring to the discovery of the new COVID-19 variant Omicron by South African scientists. Mabuza called for greater global solidarity for the common good. He also said South Africa is making progress in its fight against the spread of HIV AIDS. National Director of Public Prosecutions Advocate Shamila Batoyi has dismissed suggestions that there's a leadership crisis in the National Prosecuting Authority and its entities, including the Investigative Directorate Unit. This follows the resignation of Advocate Homani Kronier, who was the head of the Investigating Directorate Unit. Batoye addressed the media virtually yesterday, saying the NPA's biggest shortcoming is the pressure they face. And former International Relations Deputy Minister Ibrahim Ibrahim will be buried at the Heroes Acre in West Park Cemetery in Johannesburg today. Acting President David Mabuza has granted him a special provincial official funeral. Ibrahim died yesterday morning at the age of 84 after a long battle with cancer. All right, that's the end of our news headline bulletin. We'll give you details at 7 o'clock of those stories and more.